Hey guys, this is Michael and Cora. You're watching Vinyl for Miles. Today we're going to talk about white lies. White Lies is an English band. You would call them uh, post-punk or indie rock. They've been around since 2009 was their debut. I think they were around a few years before that. They have five albums out. 2019 marks the fifth release in their discography called Five, very appropriate. And I have every one of their records. I've been a huge fan of theirs. I've seen them live a few times. I wanted to just go over the newest release and show you kind of what I have in my back catalog from them as well. So the first record they have is called To Lose My Life. This was a limited printing on black vinyl. These are actually pretty rare now. And there's quite a few of these that are signed that are worth over $100. Uh, this initial release, it's not gatefold or anything, it's nothing too special. It has, the inner sleeve has a picture of the band on it. And if you flip it over, it has the lyrics in very, very small print. <laughs> And this one is black and it's 180 gram. So this one and their other three albums after this, I actually picked up at a record store in Las Vegas. Very, very cheap. I think I paid $8 for this, which is insane because I think it's worth more than $40 now. So uh, total score there. I also picked up these two albums. Ritual is hands down my favorite album from White Lies. So here's the cover. Here's the back. Also take a note that the cover is different on vinyl opposed to the CD and digital cover. So this is a little bit different than what you get on CD. Again, they're very simple with their vinyl releases. This is just a single sleeve. This one's on black 180 gram too. Pull it up and show you. Very tight in the sleeve. <laughs> so, very simple. This release sounds very good. I've listened to it over and over and over again. And, yeah, that's all it comes with. There's no lyric sheet or liner notes on this one. So we put this back. Then you get down to Big TV. This one's special because it's actually signed by the band. And this is number 3,239, it's, it's numbered. So they signed a ton of records. I think almost all of these were signed. Um, but Big TV, that's the tour I went and saw them on with my wife and a few friends. And the same thing with this very simple release. They have an inside liner notes. Picture of the band on there. And this one's on 180 gram black as well. And then after Big TV came out, there was Friends. This is an excellent album. I love this album as well. This one actually has a Morning in LA, which is one of my favorite tracks from them. The inside of this one, they're getting a little more creative this time. Still has the lyrics, extremely small print, so they didn't have to pay for an insert. Uh, and this one is on 180 gram black as well. So pretty much the majority of their releases are on black. But this year, Five came out. This is an amazing album, a great release from them. S totally, totally dig it. I think the mix is awesome. There's very low surface noise on this, and it's also a die cut album cover. So I'll show you the front. That's five in Braille. And then here's the back, kind of tripping you up again. They make you flip it sideways to read all the, um, the track titles. But what's cool about this one is, I'll try to hold it up for you. The die cut slides out and the actual pink is the color of the inner sleeve. So I kept the hype sticker which says limited edition heavyweight blue vinyl with eight page booklet. So this marks one of the first releases they've had with the actual booklet too which is nice. And this is on beautiful 180 gram blue, very pretty right Cora? Nice and thick. It's a transparent blue or translucent blue. So that's the record, the sleeve. It also comes with an eight page booklet. Uh, download card, it's the download card here. And a nice booklet 
with lyrics and photography of the band. And on the back, that's another picture of the group there. It's, it's really nice when these bands include these booklets because they're so big. It's like a picture book. And that's the band on the inside. This is a great picture of them. So that's it for five. Uh, if you were an early bird pre-order uh, customer, you got a signed print with it. But I'm in America. This was actually really expensive to get shipped to America. I think it was $30 to pre-order it, but it was something like $20 to ship it to me. It was a little ridiculous, but uh, I pre-ordered it a little late, so I didn't get the signed copy. My copy actually was already opened, and there was a, a gap that big in the plastic, so someone could have stole it. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, check out Five from White Lies, and you know, go through their back catalog and start collecting their records. It's totally worth it. If you're a fan of The Killers, if you're a fan of uh, like Death Cab for Cutie, Muse, um, Tears for Fears, they have a huge 80s throwback with the vocals. Check it out, give them a listen. All right, guys? Uh, this is Michael and Cora. Thanks for watching.